What's going on, you Magic Maniacs? Time for some more animation throwdown. How's it going, Bob? Looks like you got your second mythic from Mom's Box yesterday. Congrats, dude. I still haven't gotten jack shit from Mom's Box. <laughs> I really hope one of these days we'll get something good from it, but so far, nothing. I gotta remember to do polls on that, too, every time um, we do a stream. I keep forgetting to end the streams with that. Hey, how's it going, Astral Nebula? How you doing, dude? Uh, no, man, you're right on time. Right on time, my guy. 6 p.m. every Sunday. That's when we're going to be doing Animation Throwdown. Uh, Bob, I will do an opening of it at the end of the stream. I want to save the openings for it at the end. Um, so we're going to be doing some fun stuff today. We got Rumble going on. We got the current match right now against Hounds of Hades. That ends in just under an hour. It is a really, really close match, closer than I would like. Um, I was actually planning on messing around on this one with a Mythic deck, but that might not be the best idea right now, considering how close that score is. They have how many hitters? 49 hitters. They can still have one more person hit. And we have 47. So technically, we should be fine. In theory, I could screw around with a Mythic deck, but... Should we have anybody miss on our team, that could cost us the match, and I don't want to be the reason we lose. So I might do my actual real deck here against them. Um, so we'll have to see how that goes. Hey, how's it going, Cameron? Welcome to the stream. Saying it's 11 a.m. for you, so the streams are hard to catch. Uh, dang, I'm sorry to hear that, dude. It's 6 p.m. my time, so it's kind of like the perfect time for me Sunday nights. Uh, let's see... What else are we doing today? We'll be doing some Siege gameplay, going up against Big Bad Wolves. That's going to be fun. <laughs> I say that sarcastically. It's not going to be fun at all. We're probably going to get wrecked. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, and then we'll do the usual box reviews in the shop. Maybe we'll do some challenge gameplay and stuff today, too. We'll have fun with it. Um... Let me do a little bit of adventure gameplay just to um, give some more time for people to pop into the stream. It's Mother's Day. I know a lot of people might not be around. They might be getting delayed getting the notification, but we'll do some gameplay for the time being just while we're waiting. Uh, Bob, I told you I'm going to wait till the end for the mom's box. We'll do it. Don't you worry. We'll do it. Uh, Astral, what video of mine were you watching when you got the notification? I'm curious. Let's hop into adventure and do some matches here. Uh, what deck do I have up? Is it the Mythic deck? can show off the mythic deck here because I don't know if we're actually going to use it in the um in the match. I want to say it was this one. No, that is my real deck. It's the first one. That's the one. We'll test this out and see how it looks on adventure. I'm going to just leave the um the chat screen up for now. I don't feel like it's worth going over to the full um the full game screen for adventure mode. It's just adventure mode. Here's Jimmy Jr. to open. So Owl Stewie for the punches. Working girl's not the way I'd want to take that. We can also do Hail Science. How much does Owl Stewie hit for with the buff? So he gets cheered to 35, 25. He's hitting for 60. Good to know if we decide to play this deck in Rumble. Let's go ahead and toss another item out there. How much is Hail Science hitting for? Actually, how much is Cupid Bobby hitting for? I'm curious about all of these one-hit potentials. We're looking at 35 plus 25, another 60. So it's on par with Owl Stewie, plus I got the Cripple All. Plus, if we pair that up with Farnsworth, we can go ahead and get a Cripple All wall built. I don't know, I feel like the Mythic deck can still get us enough points to where we could risk it without having to use my, my Devil Hank deck, which is what I'm saving for the next match. Because if we win this match, whoever we're fighting next is definitely going to be a strong guild. How much does Bobenstein hit for? Then Peggy, Bobenstein, let's take a look at it. Eh, hits for a good amount. Okay, looks like a good bunch of people flooded on in. We'll go ahead and get started on those rumble matches because we do have less than an hour to hit it. Low-key, I'm kind of digging this Mythic deck. Here's what we're going to do. We'll use the Mythic deck for it, and should we take a loss, we'll just switch over to the Hardcore deck. That way I don't completely fail the guild. Because, like I said, it is a very close match right now. And I am not going to be the reason we lose that. <laughs> so let's switch on over. Actually, no, we already have the Mythic deck. We'll leave the Mythic deck up. Here is the deck right here so you guys can see it. 
Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Technically eleven if you count my Wagstaff item from the Mythic Army that I have. And then I got the items to make the combos. So let's hop on over to it and we will see how this goes. Alrighty, this week in Siege, we are facing off against Hounds of Hades. It is a close freaking game right now. 44-158 to their 43-624, I can't even speak. Um, they've had 49 of their people hit already, so they have one more to go. We've had, I think, 47. I'm about to be number 48, so it's still anybody's game. We're hitting with a all-mythic deck. Let's see how this goes. So our first opponent is Surfing on a Rocket, digging the name. Drew Zoidberg, he's not the one I would have liked, to be honest. He's not my first choice for a combo. Let's go ahead and lead with Ski Mask, because it's my hardest hitting item, and hopefully we get a different mythic character out of the bunch. Especially because they got Bob. Shit, we didn't. Let's make Summer Guy. Let's gas that thing now, because they are going to be bobbinsteening me. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt a lot. Please don't combo. Okay, they didn't combo. Worked out. Oh god, that worked out. Um, we get free heals from Summer Guy. Bobby might be in there to do the Devil Bobby, which can be scary. Let's go ahead and do Shrimp Dress. Hmm. Or Roger Sexy Shorts. Let's do Roger Sexy Shorts for the Sturdy Wall, just because I don't know what the draw is going to guarantee me. <laughs> Got it, the item. Okay, whatever. Let's go ahead and just keep playing out high HP sorts of things. Let's do Meat Man for the Bodyguard, because there's a lot of punch happening with the Bobbies. Plus, Summer Guy can try to heal up Meat Man. Meat Man can heal up the rest of the wall. It can work for me. Okay, there we go. There's our character. Let's get Hail Science made. We got some Cripple All to prevent some more damage there. I am digging it. I get my heal from Summer Guy. I get a good punch on Bobby. We can avoid all payback damage. Please give me that punch. Yes, thank you. That's great. That worked out perfectly. We got healed from Meat Man. This is 100. I spoke too soon. They comboed to the one thing that's going to probably prevent this 100, depending on where punches went. Hmm. Actually, wait. Maybe not. If we can get the right heals from this, we might save it. Let's play high HP for Disguise. That'll be burgers and fries in the open slot to expand the health wall. Where's the heal going? I think Meat Man needs it more. I'm not sure who took the brunt of that. Let's find out. Might be a 99. Nope, we got it. 100. Hell yes. That had me scared there for a second. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go ahead and see who we got coming up next. Next up, we got Arnold Palmer. Okay, I got my Bobby, which is nice. We can go Cupid. Um... Let's just lead with the mythic item and go for as much raw power out of the gate as we can. They got Stan, a little bit scary, but I can do Honey Mustache, which is my crazer. I think I'm digging that. Let's do it. Because I don't think Cupid would get the one shot. There's not quite enough power behind it. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and get another combo made. We can do Patriot Dale for even more HP. I love it. Plus, we got Sexy Cowardly Lion Stan Gas, so... It's going to fall no problemo. Cupid might be able to guarantee the one-shot on Bob. Dale, as much as I would love to have another Crazer, I don't really need him there. I would rather guarantee the one-shot on that Bob and take it out with those punches. So let's do it. All right, from this point on, I want to get as much high HP on the field as I can. Let's go ahead and lead with Dale. Just because he's pretty high HP himself, and if I make him disguise, he gets him enlarge on there. Um, it's over right here. Is it worth doing this? I think it is. He'll get a major HP buff. More than, I think, just putting out one of these out there. So let's do it. That's 110. That'll be like 80-something. Yeah, there's no contest. Let's combo it. That'll be more HP. Plus he gets the enlarge for 19. 129. Holy hell. And Stewie's attack is at 104. That might be enough for the 100 even with the damage on Stewie. Let's see. Damn it, wasn't. He took too much. <laughs> it's okay. We're still getting some good scores on this. I can live with it. Next up, we got Jimmy Wilson. 
All right, we drew Bob. That's probably the way we're going to take it. Let's lead with Wagstaff. They did Peggy, which means they're probably going for the nun. Let's do Bobenstein, because he'll be jabbing right on through her walls and crazing. Did not make the nun. I am surprised. Let's go ahead now and throw out Roger's sexy shorts for the sturdy wall. Do I have time to keep building out the wall here a bit? Because ideally I want to get my healer over there. Because Zoidberg would still be taking damage if I combo him up there. Let's go ahead and do Shrimp Dress for the high HP. And we'll see how this goes. Because luckily they're not taking too much damage yet. Alright, we're good. Let's go ahead and do Summer Guy. Get the heals there. That also gives me a little bit more HP on Roger Sexy Shorts. And we can still keep this going. I think we're in a good spot. All about leveraging this wall. We could do Tina. Damn it, it's not the right Tina. I was hoping she was the healer one. Nurse Tina was the one I was looking for. It is over right here for sure. No matter what we do, no point in comboing. Boy Witch in the open slot for high HP. Because Summer Guy is ending it. Oh, that's so good. We're able to avoid that 20 payback from the zap because of the little bit of cheer there. That is really good. I get my heal guaranteed onto Roger Sexy Shorts. Is that the 100? That might be it. Hell yes, maybe? Hell yeah! Alright, the Mythic deck is pulling its weight. I am pleasantly surprised. It's actually doing better than my other deck. Next up, we got Kaliso. Let's go ahead and do... Do you want to do Ski Mask? Um, it makes all the punches. We absolutely want to do Ski Mask. Wagstaff, I don't think I can one-shot that thing. So my best bet, we do Farnsworth, I get the Cripple All, which is nice, but I think Cupid for the Leeches might be better just to keep him alive. So let's go ahead and do Cupid Bobby there. Ooh, Jesus Christ, they did Bob and Cena. I'm glad we did something with Hijack. Um, let's go ahead and do Hail Science, Hunky Killer, or there's Jouster Peggy. Um, Jouster Peggy's going to be the way I take this regardless. So let's do Peggy in case we get the... Um, in case we get the one to make the, whatchamacallit, Nun Peggy, but we didn't. It's okay, Jouster gives me some Motivate and some Bodyguard and some more punches. Let's do it. And then from this point, I just got to keep building out the wall. Let's go High HP Mythic to maintain. Actually, wait. Do you want to do that or do you Meat Man? Meat Man's probably smarter. Screw it, it's a Mythic deck. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're committing. Um... I want to get some heals out here. Let's do Dr. Zoidberg. He's not highest HP, but at least he's a healer, so let's get it going. Screw it. How many Mythics can I get on this field before this is over? At this point, I just want to know. So there is three, four, five. To hell with getting the best score on this one. <laughs> ah, I couldn't get another one. 98, though. Not bad. <laughs> hey, Rick Blake, how's it going? What do you mean, is the mic bad? Is it not using my regular mic? Let me take a look at that. I swear to God, if it's not using my mic. No, it's using my regular mic. Mic should be fine. All right, let's pop back into it. And in the future, guys, feel free to speak up if you notice anything up with the, um, the audio or anything like that. Let me know in chat. That's the only way I'll know, because I normally have the um, monitoring turned off because it messes with me bad. <laughs> All right, let's hop into that next match. Next up, we got Batman. Na 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 Batman. Let's go ahead and hit them with my mythic item because there's not a character in sight. Um, still no character. Jesus, like I feel like every time we do a stream of this game, every time the RNG is ridic ridiculous. Well, you, I came and talk ridiculously bad for me. Like, consistently. Let's go ahead and do Shrimp Dress. I think I was telling someone in one of the comments on the, my video, because they pointed it out too, the conspiracy theorist in me is convinced there's like hard-coded into the game from Kong that the RNG must be bad for my account whenever I'm playing. <laughs> I know that's not the case, or probably not the case, but um, it feels like it at times. Let's go ahead and do Nun Peggy just to get the leeches back up on that card. Cause that was how many cards deep before we finally got a character? 
at least now we're drawing all the characters, which is nice. Um, let's go ahead and do Cupid Bobby in... We'll hit it against the one that's injured. Get the leeches going already. Uh, we drew Boy Witch. I do need to get some power going out here, so let's just throw that out. Another Boy Witch. Throw it out there. This is going to be an ugly score, but at least we got the win. Yeesh. Uh, Ricklek, my ratio of cards is 10-10-5. It is, statistically speaking, one of the safest spreads to run, and yet I consistently get boned by the, um, the, the pulls there on the draws. <laughs> we got Spinax up next. Let's go ahead and do, I'm feeling the Jimmy Jr. horse costume. Wait, does Shrimp just give me the working of a Nurse Tina? 27 punch with some heal all. I like that a lot. What does this do? 25 punch. Hmm, it's negligible. I would rather have the cripple all in slot one. So let's go ahead and do Jimmy Jr. slot one. We'll go ahead and do Owl Stewie for the cripple all. Then let's go ahead and do my... There's so many ways we can play this right now. We'll go the disguise card. They didn't combo, which works. Do these both make Nurse Tina? They do. So let's go ahead and do Summer Guy for the sturdy wall so he doesn't take any more damage. Let's go ahead now and maybe get Nurse Tina set up. We'll do Ski Mask. That also gives me some Bodyguard. And let's go ahead and get Nurse Tina in there. We got some more heals and some more punches. I just want an entire wall of heals. Nothing but heals. <laughs> All right, let's do high HP for the mythic there. Wait, is it over right here? As much as I want to do this, the smart move for the 100 is Boy Witch. Fuck it, we're doing the mythic. <laughs> it might still be enough. Actually, wait, is it? It's definitely over there. We're getting of all of our heals. It's still good. We got the 100. Hell yeah. I know, right, Rick? Like, it is odd that I keep getting, like, some of the draws I do as consistently as I do, but whatever. It is what it is. Hey, what's up, Q is Q? We got Andy Jim up next. Let's go ahead and not dig in these in particular. I'll go Peggy, just because she can punch. Let's do it. Jouster Peggy. She is my hard-hitting girl. Didn't get the one shot, no surprise. Um, let's go ahead and do Boy Witch. Because he's getting injured, but we can heal him up with one of my support healers here. Who do we want to do? Nurse Tina for nine heal all, or do we want to go with Dr. Z for the 26 on one? I think Tina's better. We get the heal all and we get a shield on one card, plus more punches. Let's do it. I don't think she shielded the right card, unfortunately. All right, it's for sure over here. It's definitely not going to be 100. For score, let's go high HP disguised. Got that purple and gold wall. Oh, so close. So close. All right, three hits left. We're closing that score gap sh uh, slowly but surely, so it's working. Next up, we got original Tata. We'll go Ski Mask. Uh, Owl Stewie is my puncher. Unfortunately, he won't get me the one shot. But I got Cripple Wall. I still think he's the best way to go there for slot one. Let's go ahead and do... Can I get more Cripple? I can. How much do I want to mess with them? That's Motivate. Does that give me Motivate too? That doesn't. Let's do Stand because I know I want to do that in that slot. I just don't know which way I want to take it yet. I mean, we could get 27 cripple all on the field. I'm sort of down with that. Let's do it. <laughs> How much cripple can I get on the field? Um, let's go ahead and get Bob set up next. We'll, oh, that's dragon costume. That is not the Bob combo I want. I'd rather do ski mask. Let's go ahead and get him comboed to Bobenstein. So I got my power on the field. I really wish I had a healer set up by now, but it looks like it's not going to happen in time to heal up Stewie. 
Um, let's go ahead and do... How do I want to play this? Actually, if I play the item now, we might be able to get a healer set up. I forget which one makes it, though, with Tina. I th in case it's her that we draw. I think it's Shrimp Dress. Let's do that one. Ah, missed it. Let's go high HP now. Oh, man. We took so much damage. It's over right here. Highest HP. Boy Witch in the open slot to close it out. It should still be, I want to say, a low 90 score. Maybe high 80s. Because we took a lot of damage on Stewie. Let's see it. Phew, called it. 90 on the dot. Let's see what we got coming up next. We got Goat85. Uh, let's go ahead. I do like the idea of maybe getting Patriotic Dale set up in there. I like that a lot. Let's lead with the Wagstaff to keep all options open. Yeah, I think Patriotic Dale is the way to go on that. We could do Cupid to hijack the crazed. Actually, this is the smarter way for the score. We'll do that. We'll be smart about it. Um, we can still make Patriotic Dale this way. Let's go ahead and do Ski Mask, because I feel like Roger's Closet might devil hank us. Which could still one-shot Ski Mask, I think. <laughs> but it at least gives me something. All right, they didn't do it. That's fine. Could do Nurse Tina, or we can go for Patriotic. I am feeling patriotic right now. I'm feeling real patriotic. Let's get him on the field. I do need some power out there. Now I want to get Nurse Tina set up. Let's go ahead and do Shrippy Dress. Didn't matter. It's over. I should have did high HP from the gate. <laughs> Shit. Oh well. At least we got the win. Alrighty, we got one last hit left. Last up is Hubix. Let's go ahead and do... That makes Cupid. That's my hardest hitting one. Let's just do it. And we'll make Cupid Bobby. Spread the love. We got Bob. Does this make it? It does. Doesn't have jab. We're gonna do Roger Sexy Shorts. Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah, Bob and Steen get out there just to mitigate damage. Luckily, the burn will be targeting Cupid Bobby, I think. Actually, after the leech, maybe not. Jesus, so much damage. So much damage. Um, I need to make another combo. Let's go Shrimp Dress for the Motivate. Oh, no, I need, I need to leave the Motivate on that to try to drop that the Dale there. Let's go ahead and throw out Boy Witch for high HP. Please be enough cheer. Please be enough. Oh, it just barely is enough. Okay, Patriotic Dale is going down. Thank RNG Jesus. And we got the good punch on there for a measure as well. All right, it's over right here. Highest HP card. It'll be my Meat Man. Even with the disguised BG buff on the disguised items I have, it won't be as much as Meat Man. Jesus. Ugly win, but I'll take it. All right, guys. So we went 10 for 10 against Hounds of Hades using my um my Mythic Disguise deck. Nowhere near as strong as my um my Devil Hank CM3 deck, which we'll be using on the next Rumble match. Because after we beat these guys, whoever's going to be up next is going to be a top top um three guild probably. So yeah, that we're going to want to give them everything we got. So that's going to do it for that. Let's go ahead and take a brief pause from the gameplay stuff. We'll do our shop reviews, but don't go anywhere because we still got to do Siege, and we're going up against the Big Bad Wolves on that one. So, yeah, that's going to be super fun. <laughs> I'll probably be hitting their Addicted Island because that's honestly what I have the best chance of beating, I think. So we'll go on that. Before that, though, let's hop into the shop and do our box reviews. So the first one up this week that we are going to be taking a look at, we'll look at the Little Legend deal. For, excuse me. For three bucks, you can get one level one legendary card, and you can get this four times. Honestly, three bucks for a level one legendary card, I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth putting out the raw cash for a single legendary card, especially not three bucks. So I wouldn't recommend dipping into it. 
So the first box we're looking at is the Mythic Hank box. As you can see, Kong went right back to not showing you the Mythic card on here. They had it fixed for one week last week showing you the Mythic card, and then now it's just gone to where it doesn't show you it again, which I think is dumb. But anyways, let's look at the cards in here. So you got the pre-combo, the Medieval Hank. This one maxed out. It's more of an offensive one. It has no real good use on defense. If you look at the stats, the HP doesn't even break 50. It goes to 45. That is freaking horrible for a power combo card. Power combo cards are normally supposed to be buffer cards to stall out. This is honestly, it's a false sense of strength because it has such good attack stats there in 18. It makes you think it's a good one, but it's not. It really isn't. The only use this potentially has for you is on offense to be a healer for the, um, the heals there. And you got some bodyguard to protect your wall. That's pretty much it. But honestly, you shouldn't be buying into boxes or pre-combos for offense. They're mostly good on defense decks, so it's a trap. I wouldn't dip into it for that. As for all your items in here, we've covered them all before. Hibachi Hat is Disguise. It's middle of the road. Doesn't really have lean one way or the other. Same with Furry Convention and same with Hottie Salon. They're all three of them just middle of the ground, not too special. As for your characters, this is where it gets interesting in the box. Hank is phenomenal to have in several different traits. He's one of the better premium characters, so always good to have as many copies of him as you can to get him quadded out. Boomhauer, I'll admit, at first glance, I didn't like Boomhauer. He is arguably the worst out of the Mythic cards, and I thought that carried over to his um, Legendary variant as well. But I was looking at him, and he actually does have some uses. Stat-wise, he definitely leans a bit more towards offense than defense when he's maxed out. He's kind of middle of the ground there, but where he really shines are the combos. I was looking at him for armed. Of course, you got Hatchet Boomhauer, which is great. You got the Craze, the Jab, and the Hijack. Some of the other ones that stuck out at me was for Drunk, you can do Bloody Mary Mix. It's pretty good stuff there. What was the other one I saw that I really liked with him? Was it Athletic? Athletic for offense. You got the punches there and the heels. That's going to be a great one to run with him. Um, what else did he have? Was it... He has a new animal one, I think. He does. Emo Wrangler. So you got the payback, the jab, and then the craze there. That's pretty much a copy of the um, Hank Hill running back, the art version of it, which that's the combo I used to reach number one in Secret Fight Club the very first time I did it. So I'm particularly fond of that skill set there. I feel like it works really well in the Secret Fight Club. So could be good to run with that. Um, for his disguise, he has the Ghost Boomhauer one. It's decent. It's not great, but it's not the worst. But he definitely has some good combos in there, which took me by surprise. So it actually made me reassess my thoughts on Boomhauer as a character. He definitely has some uses. They're definitely mostly, though, on offense. Would not recommend him on defense. He's too risky. Moving into the epic pre-combo of the box, you got Ghost Boomhauer here. This one, if you look at it maxed out, doesn't really wow. It's kind of kind of garbage, which to be it's to be expected. Most of the epic pre-combos are. This one, even in a clash, you're going to get just barely over 80 HP. It's honestly not worth it, even as a staller. So that's going to be it for the cards in this box. As for the combo masteries, it's an interesting spread. You got the um, Medieval Hank. Getting mastery on that can be beneficial if you need healers on Disguise. I myself have it at Combo Mastery 2, just because it gives you a lot of heals and bodyguards, so it has its uses. Devil Hank, of course, you want to get that. That's probably the best one in here. I have it at Combo Mastery 3. You guys will see that in action later in the second Rumble match. For Rich, you can get Oil Receipts. It's a pretty good one for high damage output on that. Arm for Chainsaw Hank, another good one. That one, I believe, gives you Craze, Gas, and Payback, which is a pretty nasty combo of skills altogether for raw damage output. For Drunk, you got Mowing While Intoxicated. You guys are probably well familiar with this one from Swole. It gets spammed on you on the Drunk Islands pretty frequently with all of the sturdy wall and the Craze to the bombs. It's a pretty solid one to have. Um, Ghost Boom, however, we just talked about. It's whatever. It's not that great. And then Frank the Snake here for Animal. That one is the worst one out of here. I don't even see it being useful at all for Animal, to be honest. Um, so honestly, for this box, what really saves it are the combo masteries in there. That's the best part about this box. The cards leave very little to be desired. The only things in this box I'd argue are even worth your time cards-wise are the characters. Everything else in here is garbage. 
So honestly, I wanted to give this one a below average rating, but the combo mastery saved it. So the combo masteries alone make this a three out of five average rating in my opinion. But without those, this box would be horrible, just complete garbage. <laughs> so let's see what else we got in here. We got some research stones here for sale. So for $2.99, limit one per player, you get 240 gems and then you get all of these research speed ups you get 12 of the what is that one hour speed ups you get four of the eight hours and two of the 24 hours and you get some legendary stones thrown in honestly the only reason you should ever dip into this um, type of deal is if you need the speed ups for the new battleground effect coming up so if you need to get some research done on your animal deck like if you have a lot of combos that need researching and you don't have a back stock of speed ups then this is worth it if you're looking just to buy gems that's not a good value of gems for the money same with the Legendary Stones, you should never be paying money for Legendary Stones. But if you need the speed ups, it's not horrible to help you out to get your deck prepped for that. Moving down the line here, we got the Postal Explorer box. This one has two different pre-combos in here. We got Explorer Stan is the new one, saying, look at this wonderful thing I've just found. That was actually a fun episode where he was looking for Oliver North's um, hidden gold on his lawn. <laughs> All right, so this one, it's another one that kind of is not that great as a pre-combo. 48 HP, that's really bad. Like I said earlier, you want to be getting pre-combos as defensive tanks to stall and potentially win you matches. This isn't one of those. It's got some burn to cause a little bit of damage. That's assuming it even survives a hit. Without the battleground effect buff of a 50% increase to health, this almost certainly would die every time to a Devil Hank. You got Cripple, which is nice, and you got the Motivate, but still, it's honestly not worth it. The one that is worth it in this box is Postal Lois. She's a bit older, but she still holds up on defense. She's not top tier. She's not going to be winning you any matches on defense, like some of the other crazy um, pre-combo walls, but she can stall out. She's got 64 HP. She's got Bodyguard. She's got Sturdy Wall and Leech to help keep her alive, so she's very annoying to deal with, especially with Combo Mastery on her. She could be very frustrating to overcome. So she, I think, is the MVP of the pre-combos of this box. Item-wise, this box is the complete opposite of the other one. There's only two items here for Totally Normal Pants and Fake Nose, but they're both great items on defense. They both have insanely high HP in the high 50s, so they're really good to have for that. Also, scale-wise on Totally Normal Pants, you got the Enlarge there, which is going to just push that HP up even more. Character-wise, you got Lois and Klaus. Lois is fantastic and quite a few different battleground effects. Addicted alone to get Shoplift Addict made. That's the way you want to take it. So as many copies of Lois as you can get, go for it. Klaus, he's kind of a mixed bag. He very rarely comes into play for very many um, traits. He is high HP for the characters, though. He is, I think, one of the only original characters when the game first came out that had HP at max at 60, I believe. Yep, so all of the original characters, nobody had HP this high. The newer ones coming out now, like Zap and Jimmy Jr., when you have the Enlarge and stuff like that, they can compete with it. Before they came on the scene, he was the OG defensive tank. Combo-wise, he fits into a couple different things. Like Rich, that can be annoying to deal with on defense there because of the skill blend. On Drunk as well, if you want to make Whiskey Bartenders, it's not going to win you any matches, but it'll stall and it'll definitely be annoying to deal with. Some other ones he has that can be a little bit frustrating to deal with. Um, where is it? For Art. Painter Klaus, it's kind of really hard to make, but depending on the battleground effect, if it ever rolls back around where they're doing more gas damage, that can be devastating with him. Um, what else did he make? There were maybe one or two more. I no, he doesn't come into play too often. Was it music? It was music. You can also do rapper class, but again, there's better stuff you can be playing on music as well. So very rarely will you ever really be using him, but he has his uses. For the epic pre-combo, you got Kawaii Klaus. This is his disguised one. If you look at it maxed out here, he does find some use at the free-to-play level competitively, just because he does have the HP above 52. Um, even in a clash, though, he's not going to be too beneficial. There's not too much damage output there. His HP will be over 100, so he can stall you out for maybe a turn to help you out there, but the skills won't be helping you out much. But at the free-to-play level, competitively, if you need a defensive card to try to survive a hit, this can work. It is slightly better than a lot of the other stuff they've been putting out recently. 
looking at your items for the combo mastery. You got a mixed bag here. You got the explorer stand. Making the actual combo version of this, if you can get combo mastery, can be beneficial on offense to help you out. Postal Lois, I already said, get that for the pre-combo if you have it. It'll be super annoying for your opponents on defense. Patriotic Dale, honestly, I don't use it that often, but it is an amazing combo on defense and offense. So if you can get that mastered out, pretty good. Working Girl Tina, she's okay. She gives you some gas and some cripple all. She can be annoying, but I do like Nurse Tina a bit better. Boy Witch is one of the greatest MVP defense um, ones right around right now. For disguised with the hp buff it's getting and all the damage output between the um the crazed and the payback it's pretty pretty freaking awesome i'm running that in my defense deck so get combo mastery on that if you can it's useful kawaii klaus i could take it or leave it like i said you're not ever going to really be running that actual combo itself and the pre-combo doesn't leave much to be desired there or i should say it leaves a lot to be desired so yeah this box is a mixed bag you got some pretty good cards in there you got some cards not so good Honestly, though, I think between the usefulness of some of the cards there, it might push it over just barely over being average. I'm hovering between 3 out of 5 and 4 out of 5. This one, let's really dig, dig deep on it. Let's see, we got 1, 2, 3, 4 cards useful there out of, what is it, 7? So that's the majority there out of these. You got 1, 2, 3... It's like half and half, to be honest. I, I can't give it a perfect rating for the four there. I gotta give it the three. It's just average. <laughs> so let's keep moving down the line here. Next up, we got Homecoming Cowpoke Box. So this one gives you some more potential pre-combos. You got Homecoming King Chris. Taking a look at this one max out. If I remember correctly, it's all right. Again, not top tier, but it can be beneficial somewhat. So 55 HP leaves something to be desired. You do have Bunker there to self-protect it a bit, which is nice. You got 18 attack there to do some pretty high damage output, and you got some heals there. So this one I would leverage more offensively to be a healer than on defense, but with the Bunker and everything there, it can work a bit on defense for you. It's definitely, though, not top tier, nowhere close. You also got Cowpoke here for Zap. This one maxed out is nothing but offense. Like, literally, that's all it's got going for it. Once again, it gives you a false sense of it being a really good pre-combo. When, in fact, it's just, it's not. It's garbage. 44 HP, I mean, come on. For a legendary pre-combo, that is atrocious. Sure, the 21 attack is really good for a legendary pre-combo, but not enough to offset the point of the defense there. Even with 12 sturdy wall, that doesn't even put it over 60. It, it's a trap. Don't even buy into that. It is horrible. Horrible. <laughs> For your items, once again, you got fake nose and totally normal pants. Both of them, again, great on defense. Character-wise, you got Zap Brannigan. He is a phenomenal one to have. He's got quite a few great combos across several battleground effects and traits. He works really well on defense, and in a few different ones, he can be used offensively. But where he really shines is defense. Chris is your other one here. Um, I'll be honest, at first I wasn't a big fan of Chris, but he's grown on me. He has some pretty good combos in a few different traits, like Screwdrive Chris for Armed. I love that thing. I took it to Combo Mastery 2 myself. I used it a lot when Armed was going on. He has a really good one for Fighter here, for Coyote Fighter. was recently in the shop for the Combo Masteries. If you get, ended up getting that, good way to go on it. I passed on it myself because I don't have too many copies of Chris, so I didn't feel like it was worth it. But you get Gas, you get Craze and Hijack. So pretty good to have there. He's got a few other good combos mixed in here. For Athletic, you got Soccer Chris. You also have his Baseball Chris one there. Um, I can go on and on. Chris has got some pretty phenomenal combos, and I think he's getting some more support recently from the developers, which is nice, so pretty useful. You got Owl Stewie here for your Epic pre-combo. It's an older one, but it does still hold up a little bit. If you look at the max, it does have just above 50 HP, so at a lower level for free-to-play or very light spending, it can work on you defensively there you got cripple all and you got punches there so it can work even on a clash the damage output on that being doubled can be useful so i actually see owl stewie being useful as an epic pre-combo so overall for your cards here the legendary pre-combos leave a lot to be desired where it's really shining are on the items and the characters and i would give the epic pre-combo here a pass especially because it's an older one it still held up pretty well as for your items you can pick up the homecoming chris i mean you kind of need that to make the pre-combo even worth it. If you're actually making his combo, though, as a support ER, that's a phenomenal one to have, so that's pretty good to have. 
Cowpoke Zap. That could come in handy for you on defense. If you're running Zap in the defense deck, then this will come and shine through. For the pre-combo, though, it's not doing you any favors. Like, no amount of combo mastery is saving that thing. You got um, Military Tux Bill. I honestly don't know why this is even in the box. You can't make that combo with any of these cards. There's no Bill in the box, and neither of the items make this combo with Bill. I have no idea why they included it in it. It feels very awkward in this box. <laughs> um, but I digress. It's a decent combo for his disguised one. It can do some damage here and there, but it's not the greatest disguised combo out there. You can do Sports Fan Joe for Athletic. It's a decent one. Joe, I just got him recently myself. I'm still learning the ropes with him for what his combos are. For Stewie, you got two here. You got Owl Stewie, which I think it's a great combo. You guys saw me use it earlier in Rumble with the Cripple All and Punches. Getting that is pretty good for Disguised. And then Honey Mustache Stewie, you saw me use that as well. Pretty great with the um, Jab, the Crazed, and the Gas. So overall, I would say most of these are useful. So this box, given the cards you're getting in it, Plus, those combo masteries sets it up just over the edge to be just better than average. So I give it a 4 out of 5 rating on that. It's just slightly better than average. So yeah, that's my thoughts on that box. Let's go ahead and keep going down the line. There's one last deal to look at. The Gold Watts Bundle. So limit 4 per player. For 10 bucks, you get 1,500 Golden Turds, 500 Giggity Watts, and 800 Gems. The only time that this deal would be worthwhile to get, the only time, is if you happen to need to get gems. If you're needing to buy gems right now, for example, if you look at the shop here, there's no $10 deal. If you were to buy the $4.99 one, which is pretty much just under $10 twice, that'll be your 800 gems right there. If you, for whatever reason, needed 800 gems right now, then it's worth getting that. Otherwise, it's not worth the money, because buying golden turds, the freaking draw rate on those golden turds to get anything good, it is not worth it at all. You should not be spending real money on that. Same with Giggity Watts. They're so easy to grind just from playing the game. It's not worth real money on that. So unless you're already planning on buying gems, avoid this deal. So that is it for all of our shop review stuff this week. Hope you guys enjoyed those. Let me know in chat your thoughts on it, or if you're watching this um, later on YouTube in the archive, let me know in the comments what your thoughts on some of the deals are. And if you agree or disagree, let me know. So we still got to do our siege hits. We still got to do the next round of Rumble. Is this one over yet? Or is it still going? Another 16 minutes on the Rumble match here. We got a pretty secure lead. I'm feeling pretty good about us winning that hands down easy. So let's go ahead and do some, let's do some arena gameplay and see how that goes. So let me switch on over to that deck. Let's see, I think it's, I think I renamed it to make it easier, Secret Fight Club, there we go. Uh, Rick Leck, some deals are worth it, but only if you're actually spending money. So for example, if you're actually like a whale looking to spend money, the one, the $100 deals where you're getting like the 10,000 plus gems and then the 500 like super mythic stones, those are the ones that are kind of like most bang for your buck and worth it. But then again, like that's if you're a super mega whale and you're willing to dip into those deep. Otherwise, not many of the deals are really worth the money. Um, let's just fight level 15. I don't care. There's no clash coming on right now. We're going up against F. Cooker in Kill All Humans. Let's go ahead and make the Devil Hank. I honestly don't think it matters unless I punch that thing out. It's a food addict wall. It's going to instantly end me unless I can take out the food addict. Okay, got a good punch. That'll help out. Um, It's going to get cheered by the Leela. It's over. That's game. I lose. God, that is so freaking annoying when you have those walls like that. Like Those are the top tier ones to get for the pre-combos. Those are the kind of ones worth dipping into the boxes on. We got D-Webs up next from Sweetwalkers. Looks like they dipped into the Explorer box there. Let's go ahead, do Bobby. And we're gonna go ahead and just do Devil Bobby. And now I gotta play Catch Up because it's gonna be hitting me really freaking hard now. Let's go ahead and do Roger's Closet. And it still one-shotted me. Thank God I end them in the first slot there. Holy hell. Uh, Cameron says he's only ever bought in a deal once to get faster research. Uh, I mean, if you need the research speedups, again, yeah, that can help for those. Those are somewhat useful. Let's go ahead and hit that next battle. Uh, Bob, what's your idea for the next throwdown stream? Lay it on me. You're saying viewers can make a deck and I have to play the deck in Arena or Siege? Uh, interesting thought, maybe, maybe. 
I don't know how that would go, though, for time-wise, trying to get everybody to build the deck on stream. We could try it, but I feel like that'd take forever to get those decks made. Whoa, god damn, is this a heavy metal wall? That's gonna be another one that's gonna be an instant loss. Let's do Brian statue. Because I gotta keep playing catch up. Because it's a freaking heavy metal wall. Come on, break through the wall. Come on, Hank, do it. And then it broke through my wall. Some bullshit I, I lose. I can't overcome this wall. The only way if I do another devil, will all punches hit? No, it doesn't matter. I still lose. Fucking hate Heavy Metal Haley so much. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> time to kill. It wasn't so much about um, screwing me over with making the decks. It was more just the time it would take to build those decks on screen. Because if you remember the one we did where you guys voted to play, that took forever to do those matches. That took an hour to play Siege. That's not even accounting for how long it took me to edit that down for YouTube. I cut down that hour of Siege into, I think it was a 15 to 20 minute video. That was some intensive editing <laughs> to make that consumable for YouTube for those who didn't want to sit through all of that. <laughs> So that would be intense. That is a major workload, a major time commitment. <laughs> I'm not disagreeing. It could be fun to try it out. I'm not completely against it. I'm just letting you know, these are the things I got to take into account when I decide what we're going to do for a stream. <laughs> Speaking of streams, you guys probably saw I ran a poll on my um, YouTube on the community channel. I also ran it on Twitter and Facebook asking what sorts of streams you guys would be down and seeing in the future besides Throwdown. Because I've done streams of Call of Duty in the past where they've been hit or miss for those. I really enjoy playing Call of Duty because I like the first person shooters, but there's been some streams where I get a lot of you guys in there enjoying it, and then there's been other ones that just completely flop. So I'm not sure if that has to do with um, just the time that I'm streaming it, or if you guys just aren't interested in seeing those. So let me know. I know a lot of people were saying that you guys wanted to see more story-based games. So we can maybe do um, things like Assassin's Creed, God of War. I know when the new Assassin's Creed game comes out, the new one Valhalla, I really want to play that game. Like, a lot. So I might be doing that. I am, like, doing terribly when I'm not paying attention to the match right here. Let me take a break from um, playing the matches. Here's some highlights for you guys to watch. And let's chat for a bit. Let's talk, because I want to get your guys' input on a lot of this stuff. So, yeah, I'm thinking of a lot of um, doing, like, gameplay stuff like that. So maybe Assassin's Creed, when that comes out, I'll, know I'll be playing that a lot. I've been doing a lot of, um, on Discord, streaming Assassin's Creed Odyssey recently. We'll be doing some of that later on tonight, too, after this stream, if you guys want to pop in and check it out. Me in here for the win. I've just been kind of playing it casually and then... Doing it through the Discord stream is the way I was able to do it for him to watch. But you guys are more than welcome to join. Here's actually a link in chat to the Discord if you're not in there for the invite. But yeah, what other types of games would you guys like to see? I see someone suggested more card games from Ricklack. I can look into that. There was one that Disney put out recently. What was it called? Sorcerer's Arena? It looks like it's a, a battle card game with the Disney characters. I might look into that, see how that goes. Um, I did a Gwent stream once upon a time on YouTube, which is the Witcher, um, the Witcher card game, and you guys seem to like that, so maybe we'll try doing that. I did download it from my PC, so we might be doing a stream for that, see how that goes, if you guys want to see that. For some of the, um, story-based games, some other ones we can try to do, um, I have Red Dead 2. I've tried to play that game so many times, but just couldn't get into it. Maybe if I did it as a live stream, I might be able to force myself to finish the um, the story. <laughs> uh, Rick Lack is saying Witcher 3 is a good story-based game. Potentially. I started that once upon a time on Xbox, and I never finished it, but could be down to get into that to try it. I do have um, Elder Scrolls Skyrim. We could do a full-on, like, in-role playing it through. Could be kind of fun committing to a role. We could do same thing with Fallout 4 I have. Time to Kill saying Pocket Mortys. Um, Pocket Mortys maybe is like a one-off type of thing. I would maybe partner with here for the win. 
for it. My thing with um, Pocket Mortys to do that though, that's really similar to the Nuzlocks, and I'm going to be perfectly honest, the Nuzlocks did not do as well as I thought they would. I thought you guys were going to enjoy it a lot more um, than you guys have been doing it, but not too many people tuned in for those streams, and even the video archives of those haven't been getting a lot of attention, so I'm feeling like you guys weren't digging the Pokemon stuff, and Pocket Mortys is more or less a Pokemon clone. So maybe as a one-off stream, but not a series or anything. <laughs> Though I might be wrong. Maybe I'm wrong and you guys just happen to have missed those streams. If that's the case and you did enjoy the Pokemon stuff, let me know. I would not be opposed to doing more Nuzlocke's in the future, but I'm not going to do them if it's not something people want to watch. Because I'll be honest, the Nuzlocke's, they're fun, but goddamn are they a grind to do. <laughs> they are so grindy to do, especially with those like deaths that come out of the blue, having to grind up the team from scratch. I had to do that before we went into the Elite Four because we lost two of our core members before that happened. That sucked. <laughs> but if you guys enjoy it, I'll be happy to do it. Um, for the Assassin's Creed, if you guys kind of want to see how those go, definitely, though, check out the Discord one later. It'll be around 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time is when I'll be doing that, just casually streaming it. It'll be a different format from this. There won't be any face cam or anything. It literally is just sharing the game through Discord with some commentary on it. But... It'll give you an idea of how that game flows and what it's like and give you an idea if that's maybe something you'd want to see on the actual Twitch channel. Because when I do the Twitch streams, that's when I do all of this stuff. Like all of these, which way am I looking here? This way. All of this layout you're seeing and then all that stuff. It takes a lot of time and energy to get set up. But for Twitch, I usually go all out and give you guys some good layouts and setups for that. So I'm all for doing that. Uh, Rick Leck is saying would watch more streams if they were on a different time zone. Okay, so time zone is the issue. Let me know in chat, what time zones are you guys all in? I normally do the throwdown streams at this same time every week, just because I do know once I go back to work, once this whole lockdown is over for the coronavirus, I pretty much always work every Sunday. This is the only time I could commit to on Sundays for Siege to guarantee to have that stream consistently every week at the same time. That's why I do it at this time for throwdown. But... For other streams, I can maybe try to find a different time that would work. Let me know. All right, time to kill saying he's Eastern Standard Time. Bob is same time zone as me. Rick Luck is saying four hours earlier, so that would be what? It's We started at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so that's like 2 p.m. your time. Or 2 p.m. my time, I should say. Okay, I can maybe work with that. So maybe on like non-throwdown days I could do that. Or if you guys want... For Throwdown, I can try doing the um, the streams a bit earlier for that, for the sieges. We can try it out. Just keep in mind when we go back to, um, when I have to go back to work, that's not going to be a consistent time anymore on that. Plus, for days like today where we're doing like a rumble, because of the way the time zones work on that, we can maybe only do one rumble match a stream instead of the two. But if it's a better, more convenient time for you, I am potentially down for that. Cameron saying AEDT for the time zone. I am not familiar with that time zone. What time is it for you over there, Cam? You said it was like 11 a.m. when we started. That is a crazy time difference. There's not really a way for me to account for that time difference on my time zone without streaming at an insanely weird hour, I think, unfortunately. Luckily, though, I think you said it was 11 a.m. for you, so that's not too, too bad compared to some other stuff, especially if I do... Regular streams that go four hours or more, then that can kind of push it towards where you catch the um, later end of it. Let's see, Rick Luck is saying 3.54 right now for you. That's AM, I'm assuming. So yeah, that is pretty rough. All right, Australian Eastern Daylight Time. Okay. Yeah, that, that's a rough time zone difference, my guy. <laughs> that is that is rough to compensate for. Anybody overseas, that is definitely rough. I know I have some um, some fans over in Germany were telling me that normally when I stream, it's like 2, 3 a.m. for them. And yeah, that is very rough to um, account for that. Because the only way to make it during the middle of the day for them is when I'm streaming middle of the night for my time, which doesn't really work for me. Excuse me, I need more water, shit. <laughs> But yeah, I want to dial this down and fix it and figure it out because I want to be streaming when you guys, it's most convenient for you to watch. And I also want to make sure we're streaming stuff you guys will be enjoying. Really quick though, for the record, if you guys watch it now, yay or nay for Call of Duty, let me know. Do you actually enjoy watching that stuff? Normally when I play, I like to try to do fun shit like quick scoping or some high skill stuff. If the games are going really bad, I'll usually do um, 
like my try hard classes with the full auto machine guns and stuff, but normally I like to do some fun stuff. Rick Leck is saying nay, Bob is saying yay. <laughs> so one for, one against. Um, one thing I could try doing a bit more on those streams too, if we do do more Call of Duty would be more variety of the game types. Maybe just only focus on the um, objective game modes and mix it up. So it's not just only the same game mode. You can maybe do that. Um, let's see, Rick Leck is saying he likes most shooters. COD just doesn't do it for him. Cameron is saying yay to COD, awesome. I'm curious, Rick Leck, what don't you like about Call of Duty? Because I know like most people, they either love it or hate it. I'm curious to pick your brain on that. What don't you like about it? Let me know. I know I used to do Apex Legends a bit too for the Battle Royale, but the problem with that game is you need a squad. If you're trying to play that solo, it's rough. It's real rough. Okay, you don't like the running gun aspect. Really, that's actually the part I love the most. I love running gun. That's like my play style. Anything not doing that is too slow for me. Uh, time to kill saying for games like that, he has to watch a friend of him who plays, was that Valorant all the time? I know that's the new one that came out. I can look into Valorant. I know it's on PC only. I'll admit, I suck at using mouse and keyboard, which is actually kind of sad considering I actually have a, um, really nice mouse and keyboard. Let me see if I can angle the webcam down so you guys can see it. Uh, there we go. I got the Razer, the nice, the nice light up keyboard and mouse, so... Got a nice setup with it, but I freaking suck with using it to actually do um, anything. I really need to learn how to use it. I literally grew up using um, the controller. Like literally, this this is how I play games for first person shooters. I need a controller. Without it, I might as well be disabled and in a wheelchair. <laughs> I can't move, Like I can aim fine. With the mouse, I can aim. But just moving and maneuvering, I suck at. So I would need to find a good game to kind of learn to do that. Because when you literally grow up playing con nothing but console games, like I'm talking 20 plus years of gaming on a controller, it is super hard to switch to a mouse and keyboard. <laughs> but once I am finally able to overcome that, I'm sure it'll open up a whole new world to me. I mean, even now for Assassin's Creed, I have it on the um, PC, I'm literally playing it on my controller. <laughs> That's probably would have been a good one to try to learn a bit on, but I'm stubborn. Uh, Rick Leck is saying Counter-Strike Go is a good game to learn it perfectly. I'll have to look into that and maybe mess around with that and see. Because I would love to get good at using my mouse and keyboard. I mean, I have a nice mouse and keyboard. It's honestly a travesty that I'm not using them. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's my take on it. So yeah, that's what I'm looking for for the channel there. Um, the next major story one I have planned to maybe stream to you guys will be Assassin's Creed Valhalla. If you guys end up liking what you see on Discord for Odyssey, maybe I'll finish Odyssey on Twitch. For now, though, I figured since I already started it, I might as well just not bring it over to Twitch since it'll be coming kind of mid-game and people joining wouldn't have the full story. Um, I could maybe do a replay of Assassin's Creed 3. I got the remaster of that that came with Odyssey. That could be fun to maybe do on Twitch if you guys would be interested in that. Some other ones we could do... Um, we tried South Park Stick of Truth way back when. I feel like it didn't really go too well. I wouldn't be opposed to maybe doing um, Fractured Butthole. I feel like that one went a lot better as a game versus Stick of Truth. I wouldn't mind streaming that as a replay. What are some other games I have? I have so many things on my PS4. I'm trying to think what else I got. Um, for card game stuff, I might be down to do some more Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Um, I'm finally over my um, my fit of saltiness after the that Yu-Gi-Oh stream against um, Here for the Win with his pay-to-win fucking decks. <laughs> his cheap pay-to-win decks. <laughs> Low-key, that made me so mad that he bought those decks instead of, um, instead of building his own. Specifically because he had me grind his account to unlock all of the freaking little in-game points for him to just buy in-game packs and make his own deck. <laughs> Plus the fact that every single deck that I made in, or in that game is one that I made myself without researching or doing anything. It was all just my own stuff, only for him to get the pay-to-win premium stuff to fight it. That really gr like grinded my gears the wrong way, <laughs> but I I'm over it. I'm over the saltiness of it. I would possibly be down to be doing more of that because you guys definitely didn't see what some of those decks could do. So I feel like that could be maybe fun to do if you guys would be down. Uh, Time to Kill is saying South Park could be good. Cool, cool. Good thing to consider. I'll have to 
maybe try some of these out as um, one shots and if they catch on maybe do the full playthroughs I have Hitman as well I think would be really fun to play on um, on a stream for those not familiar with Hitman it's kind of like a I don't know if you'd call it a first person shooter it's more of like a third person but it's also mixed in with strategy it it's fun. It, pretty much there's like targets you have to assassinate. There's a bunch of different wacky ways you can do it. There's no one set way to play it. It's pretty fun actually. We might be doing maybe that as a one-off and if it catches on, maybe do a series of it. Yeah, I think that's how I'm going to play it, Rick. Like I think that's the best way I can go about doing that, to be honest. Um, anyways, let's get back to Throwdown for a bit. We can talk more on this later. We've been going on this for a bit. Let's go back into this. I know it's getting late for um, some of you guys, so let me actually go and do something you guys want to see instead of Arena. Let's go and do Siege against the Big Bad Wolves. Let's just get the pain out of the way now. So let me switch to my Addicted deck. I think it is this one. It is? Alrighty, let's hop on over to Siege. All right, this week in Siege, we are playing up against the Big Bad Wolves. As you can see, they are kicking our ass. <laughs> They've dropped three of our islands. We have yet to drop a single one. I'm not even going to pretend like we're going to win this match. I don't think we have a chance in hell of winning this right now, to be honest. I'm going to be hitting their Addicted Island, though, to do as much damage as I can. Wish me luck. So first up, we got Bradger81. Let's go ahead, and they're going to try to hit me with this before I even get it made. I already know it. I already freaking know it. Baked Evil Monkey, please don't combo first. Please don't do it. God damn it, that is a loss. They beat me to it. Even if I go with the Mythic, it's going to beat me and outcraze me. Um, That's just going to be feeding into it. Yeah, there's literally no point. Let's try to get my own setup in the slot there. They have Combo Mastery 3. It honestly doesn't matter. It boned me so hard there on the play. Um, anything I play is going to get demolished. That is 74. Yep, I'm losing the slot. That's game. <laughs> Jesus. Damn it. Uh, Rick Lex saying, what happened? Actually, the BBW took completely over. They were always the second top kill for a long time. Yeah. A few things happened. I know there was a lot of guild changes. Wog lost a lot of power. We had a lot of people defect and go to Guild of Thrones. I think some of them defected and also went to Big Bad Wolves, which losing a good core base of your group like that, it's hard to come back. Uh, next up, we got Burger Bob. I believe that is one of the defectors. He used to be in Wog with us, if I remember correctly. Speaking of the defectors, let's go ahead and do... Damn it, I go Lois and just hope I get a better item. Please don't combo me. If this is going to be every game like that, it's going to be a loss every time. Like, regardless. <laughs> There's nothing I can really do. I can try comboing it to outlast it, but it honestly is not going to matter too much. Let's go ahead and do Meat Man. And I can do... I have my weak bake evil monkey. That's my only item in the deck that's not a quad fuse. The only one. And of course, I drew it and nothing else. Um... It honestly doesn't matter. I think I'm losing that slot. I still need to keep building stuff out, though. We'll go Brian statue. I lose the slot now. They did another shoplift attic. Yep, that's game. There goes the entire wall. I'm going to just forfeit it. <laughs> uh, honestly, Ricklick, I have no idea why they left. That was when I wasn't really involved in the game anymore. Um, their downfall happened when I was away. Even now, I don't really pay attention much to the Walker chat. I have no idea what's going on in the guild. Next up, we got Leslie Chow. Has the Hypno Toad. I swear to God, it's going to combo me again, turn one. Let's go ahead and do the Chinchilla. Okay, it did, but at least it's space, honey. Let's go ahead and flank. All I can do, there's Peggy. Just go with raw power. And at this point, I just need to keep building out a wall. So let's do Trippy. Let's do another trippy and just keep building that attack. All right, is it over? It's over. We got one win. Holy hell. I'll take it. Thank you, Leslie Chow. <laughs> Let's see what we got coming up next. Next up. 
Next up, we got Person Man 321 with the Baked Evil Monkey. Oh, I swear to God, if they do it again. Also, wanna, I don't want to discredit Big Bad Wolves. They also still spend like a massive amount of money on this game. So, I mean, to get Combo Mastery 3 and a lot of the stuff, they still got a lot of big spenders as well. So, not to discredit them at all for their rise to power on that. Good on them for the efforts they made. Just saying, though. Definitely hurt to lose a lot of our members from Umwog. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do... I guess we'll do the item over Peggy and then make the combo. Come on, Shoplift Attic, I need you to live. I need you to stay in this. Okay, Shoplift Attic stayed in it. Sig Addicts get made and get in there. Whew, I think this will be another win. We got Trippy. It's another win. Hallelujah. I will take it. Let's see who we got coming up next. Next up is Leslie Chow again. Let's see if we can get another win. Let's do, um, I'll go Peggy. They didn't combo me, works for me. Sig Addicts. I really wish Sig Addicts would pop in the store again. I only need to buy it like one more time and I have Combo Mastery 3 on it. The fact that it hasn't been back around in quite a long time has me a little irked, especially considering how um, how many ways you can make that combo. I would hope it would pop up more often than it does. And there's another... Wait, how do we lose? What? I'm going to have to watch the recording of that. I thought we had that in the bag. Was I not paying attention? What the hell just happened? Chat, what happened? <laughs> I, I don't know what just happened. I thought we had that in the bag. Did we lose a slot somewhere and I wasn't paying attention? Next up is Bizet. <laughs> I have no idea how we lost that last one. I really need to pay more attention to these hits. Let's go ahead and do my item. And nothing. Cool. Let's go ahead and do Trippy Zoybird. Still can't believe how like little I'm drawing my characters and items at the same time. This is again a 10-10-5 spread, I think. And I'm still missing the draws consistently like how is rng that bad for me consistently every time we stream every time we make a video like those odds are astronomical that is insane i don't get it i think this is a 10 10 5 spread i'll have to check it after this it's either a 10 10 5 or it might be a 9 9 7 but either even then that's still a decent one to get me combos to make like again no characters we'll do baked evil monkey a food addict wall I think I lose yep yeah there's the loss <laughs> I am curious about this spread though let's pop into my deck really quick and take a look because I am super curious about it so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine okay it's a nine nine spread but still Statistically speaking, I should still be getting cards more often than I am. I honestly don't get it. Let's go ahead and hop into the next one. Next up is Big Bad. The only way I could even test that, um, my conspiracy theory on that is if they're screwing me for not being an active spender would be to spend money. But if I end up doing that, either way they win. Because they get my money either way, and if it happens to prove the the theory right through confirmation bias, then it also just proves that I was getting screwed like that. I shouldn't say proves. There's no way to actually prove it. It would just be a confirmation bias if it ended up getting better RNG after starting to spend money again. There's no way to actually prove it without seeing the game coding. And actually, even then, I'd have to understand what I'm looking at and how to read game coding. <laughs> just being able to see it wouldn't mean jack shit. <laughs> But yeah, I just, I don't understand how bad my luck is in this game as often as it is. Uh, Rick Luck, I could make it a 10-10-5, but I would need to do another single fused item instead of a quad, which is why I'm not doing it. Because going up, up against Big Bad Wolves, doing a single fused quad, or a single fused item, it's kind of pointless. I would rather just have the quad fused um, pre-combo. Let's go ahead and do the mythic item. Let's go ahead and just try gassing that thing now. 
And of course they shoplift addict me. Um, that'll survive the hit. What's most likely to survive here? I mean, it has hijack, but it's gonna kill me anyways, I think. Bobby, can you live? Bobby will live, let's do Bobby. Oh, they hit me again. It's game, that's game. <laughs> Jesus. That's rough. Hey, what's up, Wolfers? How you doing, dude? Thanks for popping by the stream. Just in time to watch us take one more loss against Big Bad Wolves. <laughs> we got Sniper up next has... Oh my god, it's a food addict wall. Combo Mastery 3. I might as well just forfeit the match now. There's Hank. Let's go ahead and use my... Once again, my single fused item. Let me reiterate. This is the only single fused item in this deck. The only one. We've had <clears throat> we've had it at least two different matches in out of the ten here. At least two, but I think it's been in more. The odds of that, again, like I don't understand how my luck is that bad consistently. I just don't get it. <laughs> all right, that's it for all ten of our hits against Big Bad Wolves. One about as well as I expected it to go. To be honest, we managed to get I think two wins. Was it three or two? We had a couple wins. Either way, though, it's... Oh, we had three wins. Yeah, it went about as well as I expected. But yeah, just my two cents on the matter. Honestly, unless I started spending again, that's the only way I would catch up to them and be able to compete against them again, and I'm done giving Kong my money. Like, I'm done. Um, I don't even reuse, re, um, renew the VIP anymore because they've got enough of my money. They don't need any more of it ever again. <laughs> so, let's see let's go ahead and we have i think an hour till the next rumble match we did win so what did that bump us to we got 40 minutes left bumped us to number three which means our next match is going to be wait that's matching number three on points i think we're going to be fighting sweet walkers next the okay we're either fighting sweet walkers or we're fighting big bad wolves it all depends on who they fought because we are no longer protected from the um, the protection of the matches since the last one against Big Bad Wolves. I think we're still under protection from Esmar because they were three matches ago. I don't know how we lost to Esmar. I thought we had that one in the bag. Not sure what happened there, to be honest. Whatever. Um, but we still are protected from fighting them again. So it's either Sweetwalkers or if Sweetwalkers happen to have faced um, any of the other ones there recently where they can't get paired for, with us for whatever reason. Or I should say, if Esmar and Big Bad Wolves have already fought within the last three or four matches, then we're going to be guaranteed to fight Big Bad Wolves. If not, then we get to fight Sweet Walkers. So that's how that's going to go. I'm curious to see how that will be. We do have about 40 minutes to go, though. Let me go ahead and switch back over to my Secret Fight Club deck. I don't really feel like doing Secret Fight Club, though. Let's go and do some challenge gameplay. I don't think we've done challenge gameplay on the stream before. I normally autoplay these, so I'm not at the highest um, level. I might have even missed some days, to be honest. Uh, actually, no, I think I autoed it just right, so we're still on the right amount of days. But autoing it definitely cost me a bit on the score. Let's play it and see how that goes. Show off some strats. Been a minute since I actually played these. So, the whole point of this challenge is to not take any damage. It's like rumble scoring to the extreme. And they have a sleeper effect applied. Let's go ahead and do Hank. Okay, they combo, which means I can go ahead and do Devil. And I just want to ensure I can one-shot everything from here on out. So Brian's statue. As long as I get the one-shots, it's a guaranteed plus three. Hey, thanks for following, dude. Is it Br Brayden... Brayden Treen? I hope I pronounced that right. I need to make the text bigger on my screen. I can't read for shit. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, my guy. I appreciate it. We got Tesla Motors coming up next. Let's go ahead and throw out... Ah, uh, none of those are good. These are all bad. Let's do Witch Costume, just because it's hard-hitting. Okay, if I do Male Leela here, the Sturdy Wall prevents it from damaging me, which is ideal. So let's do that, because I don't want to take any damage. Next up... We can try to go for the Devil Ink for our heals. I think it's the best bet. So there's Stan's Haunted House. OK, 
okay, took a little bit of damage. This all depends on where the punches go. Actually, punches are guaranteed to hit October Brew. They're guaranteed, but it won't kill it, which means I still get my leech. Is that going to end it? No, it's not enough to end it. So we should be good. I still get the leech there. Got my heal from Ricky. So I think that'll still give me the plus three. Yup. Let's hit the next one. Oh, cool. Brayden is your brother, Wolfers. Nice. Well, tell your brother. Thank you for the follow. Let's go ahead and do Hank. Okay, they didn't combo me this time. If I want to get the plus three, I have to block and still get heals in. So let's go ahead and do Meat Man, because it can act as one of my healers. Let's next go ahead and do another Meat Man and build a heal wall. Let's just keep doing that, I think. Or do we want to do a Devil Hank now? Um, honestly, I don't think I need to do the Devil Hank right now. I don't need the leeches. I don't need the punches. Let's do another Meat Man. Get as much heal all in the field as I can. Because the goal is to heal on back up. Now we'll do Devil to get that leech. If I get a good punch on it, I can take it out too so it can't damage me again. Didn't even need the leech. That was totally unnecessary. <laughs> then I got the punch anyways. Okay, we get 12 heal all overall from those. It's still not going to be enough. I'm taking too much damage. This is not a plus three. This will probably be a plus two. Let's do Stan's Haunted House in the open slot for high HP. And there we go. Honestly, if I wanted to make it a all plus threes, I could retweak the deck. Let's go ahead and try building a deck that'll work for the challenges to go for plus threes. Let's have some fun with it. So let's leave my Secret Fight Club deck alone. Let's build it from scratch. We'll do deck 12. All right, so things I'm going to want to make sure I'm not taking damage is going to be things that are going to be having the sturdy wall and my pre-combos. Those are going to be it. So Brian statues are great. Um, let's go ahead and toss in Bender's Clowns. I got Cripple All. Mountain Climb Repeater as Bodyguard. Those are good. We also do want to have my Meat Men in there for healers. So again, let's toss them in there. That's Bob's Burgers. One, two, three, four. That's eight pre-combos. That's probably way too many pre-combos, to be honest. We'll probably take some of those out after. Next, let's take a look at some of the combos we can make that'll be good. First, let's look at Disguised. What kind of deck can I make for Disguised that'll be really beneficial on this? It might have still been the one we were doing, to be honest, for the, um, the Devils and everything. Devil Bobby might actually be more beneficial, though. Hmm. You know what? I think I know how I want to do this. Witch costumes should be good. Oh, you know, you know what'll work well for this? Ski mask, ski mask, ski mask, ski mask, shrimp dress. How many items was that? I gotta take out the pre-combos really quick to get the item count right. But I just figured out how we're gonna do this. We're gonna do some robot fry. Robot fry is gonna work really well. That's fine. A 9-9 spread can work fine for me. So let's go ahead. I'm going to still throw in Peggy because she is devastating. Actually, Peggy... Mm, I don't know. Does Shrimp Dress make her for the, the nun? If it makes her, then she's worth it. Yeah, I'll, I'll risk it with her. She's worth it. So let's toss Peggy in there. So that's one. And then we're going to do four, fi four fries and four hanks, or just do all fries. I think maybe all fries. Just avoid the um, the punches entirely from Hank. Let's go Futurama. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's my nine nine spread right there. Perfect. Let's go ahead now and throw out. You know what? Maybe I do want to have a few Hanks in there for some heals. I think that would be smart because Hank can get me some heal combos in there. Let's do one, two Hanks. I'm digging that. Just to have a healer. I forgot about my Mythic Disguised item. Does that actually benefit me at all for the combos I'm looking for? That's going to go ahead and do Nun Peggy. She just fucking filter this by the show. Gives me the healer Hank. What does it do for me on Futurama? Stop clicking away. Just click the thing. Futurama. 
Where is Fry? If you give me Robot Fry, you're worth it. Nope, give me Fry. No, you are not worth it. Cool, let's go back to the pre-combos now. So I want to go back to the pre-combos that have the sturdy walls. Brian statues, Fender clowns, that. And then let's go ahead and once again throw in a couple of the meat men. We'll do two of them. Where's Bob's Burgers? Let's try this out and see how this works. Also, I need to change the character. No way in hell am I using Bobby as the character here. I still like Ricky Spanish the best. Because I get a shield, get bodyguard, and I get a free round of heals for four. Let's try that out and see how that goes. Alrighty, Cannon is up next. Okay, they got the zap. Got the ski mask. We can already do robot fry. Let's leave the item, because it'll be hitting hard if I need to keep playing down the line, which I do, because of course I do. Let's get the bodyguard in there to block the bombs. I know it's going to hijack me, but it's okay. We can heal ourselves up. I still need to keep playing down this line. Here's where we're going to run into an issue now. The laser tag Brian's breaking through the wall of anything I play. I don't need to do another Brian statue. I think doing High School Bill is going to be better here. So let's do that to get some punches on the field. Luckily, it's going to get healed up on its own, so let's do Fry and Robot Disguise. He's now protected by 20, and he's got 25 Leech. Okay, we took a little bit of damage. Luis has Jab. It's going to be breaking through any wall I make. That's problematic. That's very problematic. Um, Got to do Brian Statue for the high HP at this point. Meat Man... If I'm lucky, I can get the heal over there, but I don't think it's going to get that far. I think it's still going to just be a plus two. Yep, we have too much damage. Damn it. We got Curbster up next. All right, we got some good cards here. Let's do Witch's Costume. So Nun Peggy with a 38 bomb guarantees me killing their slot two there. We're going to combo it now. That'll ensure I don't take any direct damage this turn. Plus, she's protected for 20. We're in a good spot. Now, let's go ahead and do Witch's Costume. It's protected by the 10 wall. Once again, though, Nun Peggy will kill. And then Robot Fry. I have full control. This is more or less a guaranteed plus three. Only way it screws me is if it does a combo that can break through or if it has something to pay back. But I don't think it's going to happen. See? Nothing to it. Whole wall is safe. Doesn't matter. That is a plus three. Hell yes. Try on the next one here. We got Dongle. Has the Brian. Let's go ahead and lead with Ski Mask. He'll hit hardest. All right, they combo, which means I can meet them in kind. Um, they're going to still break through because of the Disguise Cheer, but my Leech should be able to leech me back up to full every time, no problem. There's Witch's Costume. This is perfect. Devil Hank guarantees the one shot on Bender. That should be a plus three. Doesn't matter what we play now, let's just end it. Hell yeah. See, this deck is putting in the work. Getting me them plus threes. Going up against Scummy. Let's go ahead and do Witch's Costume for the power. They didn't combo. In hindsight, I might have wanted to save that Witch's Costume actually for the sturdy wall. Didn't think that through. Let's go ahead and do Shrimp Dress. Damn it, I still got to keep playing down this line. Luckily, Witch's Costume acts as a healer. So I got that going for me. We'll do Ski Mask for the Bodyguard. It's been so long since I actually had to think about these moves for a challenge. Okay, I kind of want to leave Ski Mask alone because it's my healer. Let's go ahead and combo up one of these guys. Let's do Center Slot so I can keep the Bodyguard. It's going to be enough to avoid the payback. Nope, I'm taking payback damage. It's okay, though. We got a good chunk of leech in there now. I need to get another healer made. If I can draw a Hank, we can get a healer made in the slot three there. Damn it, missed it. Let's go ahead and do another Fry Robot Disguise for leech. And then we'll play the Witch's Costume in the open slot to be a healer. Boom. Oh, wait, no, I should have did another Frying Robot Disguise slot one for the leech. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. 
Oh well. <laughs> and actually, if I need a healer, why am I running Hank instead of Zoidberg or one of them, now that I think about it? Oh well, I'm not going to go and change the deck again. We got Player up next from Calamitous Intent. This time, let's save the Witch's Costume. Let's go Ski Mask. Witch's Costume to block. Let's go ahead and do Brian Statue for some more Bodyguard. Nice, we're breaking through. Um, Frying Robot Disguised. I think now is the time. Let's do it. Beautiful, we can do None Peggy and that gets us the win. No Payback, that's a plus three. Hell yeah. And this is only, I think, day three of the challenge, so it's easier to get the plus threes. Normally around day four or day five for the last one, it's all about going for the win at that point. Just do whatever you can to get the, get the win. If you are only going for plus threes at that point, you're going to take more unnecessary losses. Let's do Witch Costume. Uh, I still need to block. We'll go ahead and throw out... This one's a bit tougher to decide. I can make a healer. We're going to go ahead and do Brian Statue. Oh, that hurt. Okay. I do want to have my healer, and that gives me way more bodyguard. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and do Robot Fry now to have him self-heal a bit. Come on, Medieval Hank, heal up Brian Statue. We need all heals on Brian Statue. That is, like, literally crucial right now. Thank you. Still taking a lot of damage, but at least we're mitigating it as best we can. At this point, I kind of just want Brian Statue to die. It needs to die perfectly, though, is the thing. If we do another Brian Statue with the Motivate, let it get hijacked, will that be enough to end it? It's a gamble. It's a gamble. I think I would rather do Ski Mask and try to make another healer. Didn't get the draw. Alrighty then. Let's go ahead and do Witch's Costume for another healer. And we failed spectacularly. Medieval Hank has too much damage. Brian's Statue has too much damage. This is a plus one. That did not go over well at all. <laughs> Jesus. Next up is Jamie Jordan. It's also harder to get the plus threes right now with the disguise cards getting all of their insane buffs. Harder to overcome the cards and harder to not take damage. Let's do Ski Mask. Witch's Costume. Okay. How do we want to do this? Maybe Fry and Robot Disguise Slot 1. I think that's the way to play it. Jesus, Witch's Costume's not holding on. <laughs> She's dying. I have to combo her into another fry. I gotta go for the plus two. The plus three is lost. Um, let's go ahead and just play out stuff that's not gonna take any damage. So, Witch's Costume, Brian Statue, and that'll be a plus two. How many more hits do we have on this? That was all of the hits. So there was some challenge gameplay for you guys there. Hope you enjoyed it. Normally I just autoplay those because I don't really feel the need to do daily challenges anymore. It was a grind to do it back in the day and I don't miss it. I am fine just autoing it, collecting whatever basic ass rewards it gives me, and moving on with my day. Cause ain't nobody got time for that. How much longer till this next Rumble match? 30 minutes. Let's pop into the arena and go ahead and try to do some more Secret Fight Club because we took some pretty heavy losses earlier. Kinda have to climb my way back up now. Luckily, there's no clash going on tomorrow, or I would be pissed, because I would have to climb up so freaking high. I'm not gonna fight the level 15, screw it. Okay, fine. Want me to fight a level 15 since you're gonna keep giving them to me? Fine. Stupid game. <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and do. Devil. And we'll go ahead and do another one, because why the hell not? Actually, hold up. Forget that. Clobberella. <laughs> Let's get that Motivate on Devil Hank. And we'll go ahead and do <clears throat> Witch's Costume. 
Uh, time to kill. There's no point in adding Summer Guy to my Secret Fight Club deck. Because it's all about just getting the damage done. I don't really need it. We got... Night... Is that Nicro Wii? Let's go ahead and do Witch's Costume. Devil. Like, the Secret Fight Club deck here is literally just spamming the Devil Hanks is the way I play it to try to get the wins. Of course, I always have to do my pre-combos to build it out because the Disguise buff does so much freaking damage if I let it hit me directly. It can be very frustrating and annoying. Let's go ahead and do... I guess Roger's Closet, all I got. Do Devil Bobby. And Roger's Closet again. Clubberella. And I lost. I wasn't paying attention. God damn it. <laughs> that disguise buff gets me every time. I always forget. I gotta do a pre combo second slot to stay caught up with it or I'll take a loss. Let's go ahead and do Witches. Devil. Let's go ahead. I don't have to do a pre-combo this time because they're not building a wall. Devil. And there we go. Easy enough. Yeah, time to kill. I know the third slot got me. It's because I comboed instead of protecting the card wall. That's what I meant by saying the battleground effect keeps messing with me when, they, um, when it gets to the cheer buff. Because I'm not calculating that into when I'm making my moves. I, I honestly don't put in the same amount of thought that I used to when I used to uh, play the game years ago. I used to literally think about every move, pull out a calculator, calculate, okay, how much damage is this doing? What is this doing? Ain't nobody got time for that. I honestly don't care anymore. I just spam cards out and do whatever. Kind of over it all. And that's going to be a loss, pretty sure. Yep, it's going to end anything I play. Meat Man to block. It's got me. That's a loss. <laughs> yeah, essentially time to kill. I'm essentially running on auto without autoing. The only reason I don't auto it, to be honest, is because I've tried it before. Actually doing the autoplay tanks the score so bad. I can normally, at least when I'm doing it myself, keep myself in the 2250 range normally when I'm paying attention. But um, doing the full autoplay, I did that once. It dropped me down to like... 1800 or some shit like that that was a annoying grind to get back up to so i don't auto play arena anymore just because it's annoying to have to constantly climb back up from it even now from how far we fell on this it's going to be a pain in the ass to climb back up for clashes it's going to be a grind i might honestly wait till animal for that because at least animal the cards aren't getting a cheer buff they're getting a punch buff but i can deal with that Let's go ahead and do Witches, and we'll do Devil Hank. Brian Statue, and now I got a block because they're playing all these disguise cards. It's over, I win. There we go. How much longer we got till the next Rumble match? I think we still probably got like 20 minutes. We got 25 minutes. I'm gonna be honest, guys, I am not feeling the arena right now. It's kind of boring me. Um, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna temporarily switch games. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of Call of Duty. I know we talked about this a bit earlier on stream. Some of you enjoyed it, some of you didn't. Um, it'll only be for 20 minutes, so it'll maybe be one, maybe two matches. Then we'll pop back over to Throwdown to do the Rumble, but that's something I'll enjoy playing a lot more than the arena right now. And I feel like you guys might enjoy watching me do something that's I'm enjoying and having fun with than just going through the grind, because there's not really much I can say on the arena right now besides, oh, let's play this card. Oh, another Devil Hank. I feel like it's getting... Re Rep was it repetitious? Is that a word? Repetition? I don't know. I feel like either way, though, it's getting boring and stale. So let's switch it up a bit. Just for a bit. Won't be long, I promise. So. so let me go ahead and hop on in. We'll do some Call of Duty War, or not Warzone, we'll do just multiplayer. Warzone, I only ever really like to play when I'm actually in with a squad. And we're only doing this, like I said, for like 20 minutes. There's no point in hopping in a full squad for that. Hell, a Warzone match alone can take upwards of like 20 plus minutes. Um, let me see. Is there any river coming for a game? No, I have that to say. We're good. Alrighty, so let's hop in. 
Hopefully I am not too rusty. I was playing a bit earlier. You, what do you guys feel like seeing? Some some quick scope stuff, high skill stuff, or you just want some chaotic madness? Just non-stop like kills. I had a, a game earlier on shipment. Um, it's one of the maps where it was 111 kills I got on it. <laughs> it was a very cheap way I played it, but it was fun. Because one of the modes right now, it's um, literally 10v10, giant, um, giant pool of players on a tiny ass map. You know what? I kind of want to show that off. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's have some fun with some chaos. Why not? This will be interesting. Let me bring us up to the full screen for it. Hopefully we can get a connection with less than 90 ping. So far, not so good. Who's online right now? Uh, no one, it's just showing me. <laughs> All right, let's see how this goes. What I like to do for this, for what I did earlier, where I got 100 plus kills, it's this right here. It's literally just an RPG <laughs> and an LMG. It is the cheapest thing ever. I'll, I'll be honest, I should feel shame for, for using that class, but it's so much fun. <laughs> like, you just get multi-kill after multi-kill. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It only really works, though, because it's 10v10 right now. It also helped because the game mode I was doing was Domination, which means there was set flags that people had to protect. This is cranked it's throwing me into, so probably not gonna work as well. It can, but might not work the same. I might be better doing a regular gun. We'll warm up with a regular gun maybe. We'll see how it goes. I do like domination better though. All right, get ready for some freaking chaos and madness. <laughs> Here we go. I'll try the RPG. We'll see how it goes. This, is this got me 111 kills on one game earlier. I don't think I'll be able to repeat it, but we'll try. Let's actually... Yeah, I'll switch to it now. Come on. Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Oh, hit somebody. <laughs> we didn't get a kill yet. It's literally just been spamming it. What the fuck? I'm lagged out. I'm lagged out. What the hell? The game just like completely lagged out. That was odd. <laughs> it's so freaking cheap, to be honest. <laughs> it's so cheap. <laughs> ah, they're using filter systems there on to me. <laughs> that's an enemy, that's an enemy. Alright, let's switch to a real gun. This isn't working. It works way better on combination, in my opinion. There's a bit of lag in this game. Like how I lived through that, I have no idea. Hiding in there. <laughs> so yeah, this map is freaking chaos when it's 10v10 like that. There's constantly enemies everywhere. <laughs> I really want to like combination, but oh, whatever. Alright, I'll go into a regular match now and try to do some quick high skill quick scoping stuff, see if my aim is good enough to do it right now. By the way, let me know how the quality looks right now for the stream for 
for Call of Duty because it's a different stream setting that I set for Throwdown than I do for Call of Duty. Normally I would be streaming this in a different resolution with a much higher bit rate. So let me know how it looks right now. I am curious. Um, let's just do regular domination. Also, feel free to let me know in chat when Rumble starts for the next match. My mic is blocking the um, clock on my computer, so I can't actually see the time. I would imagine it would be another game, maybe two, and then it'll be live, but I'm not sure. Uh, Ricklick? Yeah, you can let me know in chat. I can see chat fine. If you want to let me know when Rumble starts, I'll go ahead and pop back over to Throwdown to finish it out. And then Time to Kill says it looks good. Okay, cool. I think right now the stream is running at 720p and 30 frames. Normally I like to stream Call of Duty at 60 frames a second, and I normally ha have it going at a full 1080. Or not 1080, I should say it's slightly smaller. I usually do... I think 1600 by 900 to reduce the screen tearing. I might try doing 720 in the future, but still have a 60 frames. Might be good. Ah, oh, Piccadilly? Not, not this map. Anything but that map. There's so many maps in this game I don't like. Come on, give me something good. Give me something fun. Also, come on, find a game before the ping goes way up. I'm not looking for a lag fest. Come on, please, while you're still at 42. Yes! Please, it's not going to go rust, but I wish it would. I wish it would stay on rust. It's never the first map it shows. Never. Don't get my hopes up. Don't play with me, Call of Duty. Don't do it. Also, why am I getting paired against people on PC with mouse and keyboard? <laughs> I'm using a controller on console. That's not fair. <laughs> oh my god, it went rust. Hell yes. I am down with this. Alright, let's see how garbage my aim is right now. I've been playing so much Assassin's Creed. I've been slipping. Let's do my carbine. Oh, that's not the reticle I like. Shit! Okay, this is going to be interesting. Capture and defend the forward Dude, enemy. move! Securing C. Securing Bravo. <laughs> Oh, it's a throwing one. I thought I had a name. We're taking Bravo. Don't worry about it. We've got Bravo. Come on, my aim is way off. I can feel it. I know I can hard scope them, but I want to get on to a quick scope and Where? Oh, he's right there. Like, where the fuck is he? Oh, come on, hit marker? Thank you. Oh, damn it. This definitely feels slow. I don't know if it's me or the connection. I feel uh, I'm not snapping the targets like I usually do. Ah! Also, if I change that reticle in the game, I can't. There's another reticle I like to use that's like one minute, minimum to get there. Let's change value, it's not working. I feel like it never saves my classes when I try changing them. Never. Okay, let's go up top. Damn it, Damn it they got me. They gotta clear them off the scene. Come on, team. Get get A. Someone hop your ass on A. We're on Alpha. Ah! Ah! Got movement. Alpha secure. Ah! I see him. Ah! Ah, I got him. I feel like my team's not playing the objective. Enemy the cargo okay, silence, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. I want to get up top there. That's my little like, sniper's nest. I like it. I don't think I'm going to be able to, though. I don't have C. C is 
kind of necessary for this. Oh, here we go. Here's my way up. Team, go. I don't think I can play this way at all. Because my team is not like protecting flags or doing anything. Like seriously, team. Take C or something. Do I really have to do it myself? Did you play this effect with myself? Let's switch guns. Freaking useless to me. I gotta pull out a gun. I'll put on my tryhard pants. Oh, you camping, little bitch. Okay, you wanna camp in there? Let's go take care of you. Got you, you camping little slut. I wish I could run underneath here. I really wish I could run. Oh, how'd you get up there? I didn't know you could get up there. I did not know you could get up there. Who's RPG is this? I want it. I want it. Okay, 
Move, move, move. I deserve that death. I deserve that. <laughs> uh, at least we finally started playing the objective and got it. I'll take the win over that any day. Wins over good scores any day. Their curiosity rules the KD. 25 and 16. Yeah, it's okay. What's our time looking like right now? I really need to get a new mic. A mic stand. Cool. One more game and then the rumble match should start. So you know what? Let's go out on a bang. Let's do another chaotic game on shipment. Because COD players only want one thing. And it's disgusting. <laughs> It's domination on shipment. Honestly, that's what I really want to do. Dom on shipment all day, every day. For 10v10. <laughs> Let's do it. I'll bring the RPGs and the LMGs. It'll be a fun time. We'll make a party out of it. <laughs> oh, not cranked again. Damn it. It's already started, too. I think it already started. Nope. Weird. Pulled me in so quick I figured it was a mid-game. Alright. Jesus! They're using my RPG strat against me! Jesus Christ, what is that? Is that freaking incendiary rounds? That's nuts! Oh, That's freaking I have no idea what's going on. I have no idea where they are. Enemy at the cargo container. So quick. <laughs> I enjoy the 10v10s on this map for literally the novelty of like just spamming RPGs, but for an actual like game for just playing it and actually trying and going hard, I don't like it. I feel like it's too many people on too small of a map, it's too chaotic. I would much rather have like a regular 6v6 on that map. Kind of wish they didn't take that out of the rotation. They replaced the regular 6v6 with 10v10s on this. Come on. One last one. Domination on that. I can do domination. Okay, I don't think it's going to go hard point. I think it's going to go to a different one. Come on, you're never picking the first one when I'm playing with friends. Why are you picking the first one now when I'm streaming it? <laughs> Pick a different one. Literally. Give me domination. Give me dom or give me death. <laughs> it's gonna go hard point. 
I honestly, I've never seen it do that. It's never before been the first pick. It's always been like it teases you and it gives you a different one. I've never seen it do that. Weird. Okay, hard point though. This could work. Here's my boomstick. Come on, I wanna blow shit up. Let's blow them up. <laughs> hard point. Back back out. Out. <laughs> oh, throw the throw the thing. Out of here. Good fun, good fun. Okay, hard point center. That's easy enough. God damn it, spawn me. Put them already looking. <laughs> We're gonna get so many kills doing this. Alright, time to kill. I see you one now. After this match, just get back over. And I do want to finish up the match. I can't even spawn in a unit here. Freaking chaos. Too much shit going on.
much chaos. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> so much chaos. Spawn behind me. That's the hard part, so I I'm dying to take it you with me. Okay, oh my god, they're literally just Come on, team. Just rush it. Just rush it. See, like that. You rush it and you take them out with a fucking rocket to the face. That another rocket? Back to throw down now. I'm pretty sure the rumble match has started. <laughs> Back at it for rumble. So should have started. Let me see. It did. Kung Fu. Cool. Did not see that coming. Let me switch decks. I think it is this one. Is that my real deck? That's my real rumble deck. And then what was happening in chat? Rick, what do you mean ban the, the bot? Ban what bot? <laughs> okay, I think I see what you mean. This bot, can I ban from here? That's the first time they popped up on my chat, Rick. Like I didn't see them before until just then. Why is it not letting me do it from here? One second, let me fix that. Thank you for pointing that out. Done. 
Didn't even notice that. Where are my mods when I need them? <laughs> Let's go ahead and bring this back up. I switched to the game, so here we go. Time for Rumble. Alrighty, in this Rumble match, we are going up against Kung Fu. Gonna be hitting them hard with my, my hard-hitting Rumble deck. We'll see how this goes. First up is Purius. As you can see, we're just going Devil Hank Combo Mastery 3 to try to one-shot everything. With a Masked Hero Combo Mastery 2, that's not going to happen. Hmm. Um, Medieval Hank can give me a good healer. Let's go Roger's Closet. Let's go ahead and do... Do I want to try to set up the healer? Do I risk it? Um, no, nah, let's just double down. Let's double down. Get my leeches. 97, I'll take it. I will take it. There goes any chance of a perfect thousand, but whatever. We got Salah Kelmy up next. Let's go ahead and do... No character. This is the this is back to the 10 10 5 spread. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Witch's costume. Okay, there's a character. And we're going to take everything to One Shot City, baby. One Shot City. All day, every day. Nothing gets to live except Cognac Bender. That probably gets to live. Let's go ahead and do Boy Witch. Um, next highest HP will be Wagstaff. And missed out on it. Damn it. Next up is Snoo Snoo. Well, there's Summer Guy. <laughs> I'll lead Witch's costume. Please give me somebody else to play. It didn't, but I'm not too worried about Whiskey Bartender. I'm going to just leave Witch's costume alone. Let's do a another Witch's costume. I will gladly set up a Summer Guy over there. Where are my characters? Seriously. Like, I, I don't get it. Let's go ahead and do a... Do you want to do burgers and fries or... Yeah, I have to. I can't feed the hijack. Finally. Except that's not the combo I want. That is like opposite. Let's go ahead and do Roger's Closet. Now you give me it. Um, of course, that'll be feeding into that, which I absolutely don't want. We'll devil hank that. And we lost a slot. Okay. Um, Roger's Closet to fill the hole. The hole of my soul. Is it over? No, I still need to block. I still must defend. Let's go ahead and do another Roger's Closet. Okay, it is for sure, for sure over here. I don't want to combo up any of that because I want to get my heals. I will combo up this though because that'll give me one more round of leech. So we'll see what I can get from the score there. Let's see it. 91. I'll take it. Next up is Mashifu. Oh, I can at least make a combo this time, which is nice. <laughs> Go ahead and do Devil. Let's go ahead and do Roger's Closet. And I guess we'll do Hail Science. And let's go ahead and do Witch's Costume. That should hopefully give me some heals. Or is this just going to be over? If it punches Roger's Sexy Shorts, it's over. Okay, it held on. I think it's still over there, though, from that hit from Hill Science. Yep, that is definitely over. I should have played higher HP. Damn it. <laughs> when you say go slow, time to kill, do you mean don't, um, don't speed it up? <laughs> Next up, we got... Mm, I can't pronounce that. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Let's do Hank, because I'm going to go for the one shot. Is that going to clear 62? 
We got 27 plus 44. It sure is one shot city, baby. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it again, though, because Zap can hijack my motivate. We'll do Wagstaff. And let's see. That will give me heals, which I don't need. I think in this instance, Male Leela for the wall is better. And then let's go ahead and just do high HP, I think. Or, actually no, let's end it. Motivate guarantees this being over. Pretty sure. Didn't have to do the math on that. Should have did the math on it. It's 47 instead of 48. <laughs> Damn it. It's not over. It's never ogre. <laughs> I still get around a leech there. We're good. I think it's still going to be 100. We'll go boy witch. <sighs> She's damaged too much from the bombs. Damn it. Damn, damn, damn. We got Gushy up next. Summer guy, you're not meant to be my opening move. You're never meant to be the opening move. Uh, I'll do Devil Bobby as the opener. I'm down. Let's go ahead. The hijack doesn't matter. It's already going to be cheering it way, way too much anyways. Let's go ahead and do Roger in case I get Hank. Did not get Hank. Summer guy it is. Okay, highest HP, Boy Witch. Summer Guy took a pretty chunky hit there. Don't think it's 100, but it should be a high 90s. I'll take it. Next up, we got Entity. The Entity. I should have let Hank. Normally I like to lead items to keep all options open, but Devil Hank is always the move if I can make it. And I could have potentially drawn a witch's costume for a better, harder hitting item. I didn't, but I could have. And that's what matters. Let me go ahead and do Boy Witch. I don't know if this is actually going to pan out or not. Wagstaff. Okay, this is probably going to pan out now. Medieval, so I can get some heals. Okay, I need all punches to land on Boy Witch. Because that thing will devastate me otherwise. Good. No, why would you heal up Boy Witch? Heal up Devil. He's the one in grave danger. He's in the danger zone. I need to get another Devil set up just in case. Because I am not out of the woods on this. I want to see where the punches go. I want to see it bone me. <laughs> God, I love, love watching when it screws me. Do it harder. RN Jesus, you sick fuck. Um, yeah, I need to block. I need to block that. Roger's closet. Jesus! Is it over? Oh, fuck me. Um... <laughs> Real talk, how am I surviving this? Meat Man is not going to survive it. He would have survived last turn. It would have been the move. <sighs> if I were to combo up right now and do Devil Hank, that's not going to help me with all the bodyguards. It's not going to matter. Clobberella gives me 20 Motivate. Do I lose if I take direct attacks from both of those? I absolutely do. I can't afford to combo. I got to do Meat Man to stall. Oh, this is looking bad. This might be a loss. This is looking real bad. Okay, Boy Witch, I need you to break through and kill Laser Tag Joe there. The way to do that is going to be the Motivate here from Leela. I think that's the only... That's my best bet. It's my only bet. I don't think it'll be enough, but I'm going to go for it. Is that enough? 12, 6, 18, no. It just is enough to kill it, but not secure me the win. <laughs> ah, damn it all. 
That hurt. <laughs> that hurt so bad. All right, next up is Stab McTwisty, Roger's Closet. Devil will go ahead and just demolish the VIP crews for me. Um, Super Surfer can block the punches with the Meat Man. Let's do that. Uh, do Roger's Closet in case I draw Zoidberg. Of course I don't draw Zoidberg. Why would I draw Zoidberg when I need him? <laughs> Zoidberg, he's always there when you don't want him. Classic Zoidberg. Um, let's just keep playing down the line. I'm over it. I'm over it all. <laughs> okay, Meat Man, I need Meat Man to die. What's the move here? Devil will leech up a bit. Will it end it? If Devil Hank punches Sewer Surfer in slot three, it's for sure over. If I do this. That's so risky. But I think I need to do it. You know, let's go high HP. I'm not going to risk it. Watch it punch slot three. Watch it do it. Let's see it. I want to see it. You're going to punch slot three. No, you didn't. Oh, damn it. I should have did it. I should have comboed. Damn it. Well, now we took a lot of damage. Oh, it didn't matter which is costume ended anyway, so it was still the right move. <laughs> didn't matter. I was overthinking it. Next up, we got Not the Mama. Witch's costume. Devil should one-shot the Peggy. And it's just one-shot city from here on out. We'll do Leela because I can't, motive, or can't hijack at all. And Quabarella. Hell yeah. Everything is dead now. Nothing may live. Bow to the power of Satan. <laughs> All right, let's do our last hit here. Up against F. Dambros, Witch's Costume, and Hank. We're going to devil it up. Should one-shot the fake son. You're not the real son. You're not the real Antichrist. Devil Hank only recognizes one son, and that's Bobby. But not just any Bobby. He needs him to be Devil Bobby. And, unfortunately, I think that cost me the 100 Boy Witch. <laughs> oh, well. Yep. <laughs> Alrighty, and that's it for all of our Rumble hits. We did it all, baby. We did two Rumble matches. We did um, a Siege match against Big Bad Wolves, which shall never be discussed again. <laughs> we did a little bit of arena gameplay. Um, we did challenge stuff. Let's go ahead and do a mom's box pull really quick, because I'm not spending these gems on anything else. Might as well get screwed by this too while we're at it. So let's see how that goes. Uh, like one of the worst things I can get from it. <laughs> You're not wrong, Rick. Like mom's box is the absolute worst. But you know what? It's Mother's Day. We pulled it for her. We pulled it for this wonderful woman right here who just loves to screw us harder than the um, the MILFs on Sun section of Pornhub. <laughs> don't even know if that's a section. Um, do yourselves a favor. Don't Google it. It probably is a section. Rule 34 of the internet. <laughs> There's porn for everything. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything for the throwdown stuff there. I did mention we will be on Discord in a little bit. After this, I'm um, doing some Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Just casually feel free to hop in there if you want to come hang out. Oops, wrong link. Ignore that. I meant to post that one. There's the invite to the Discord server. I also got Zbot set up in there for anybody to use if you're registered with it. So if you need um, Zbot to help you with your decks, feel free to hop in there and use the public channel for it. You can also private message the bot if you want to use it that way. It works either way. Here is a link to my other social feeds if you guys want to just give me a follow and like on there. Do the whole um, social media thing. Much appreciated. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, the whole shebang. Post a lot of unique stuff to each of the platforms, mostly Instagram and Twitter. I do some gaming clips and stuff over there. And of course, you guys already know I'm on YouTube. Do the whole YouTube thing if you're watching this on the archives later. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. You, you guys know the drill. You know how it goes. 